And Mateng is top defender, former Prime Minister and current Azimio Coalition Party Chief Raila Odinga's term as the High Representative for Infrastructure and Development at the African Union has come to an end. Now, African Union Chairperson Musa Faki announced this following the coming into force of the African Union Development Agency. According to Raila Odinga's secretariat, he requested to be relieved of his duties due to his unavailability, as Emmanuel Toh explains. It has been four years and four months since Raila Odinga was appointed Africa's High Representative for Infrastructure and Development in October 20, 2018. However, the former Prime Minister's tenure came to an end on the 19th of February, which is five days ago. In a statement, the African Union Commission Chairperson Musa Faki Muhammad said the African Union Development Agency, New Partnership for Africa Development, will take over Raila's role. Faki commended the ODM leader for his contribution to the continent, adding that he will be considered in other duties in future. During his four-year tenure, Odinga began several projects, including paying special attention to the missing links along the transnational highway corridors identified as the Trans-African Highways Network with a view to facilitating their development and modernization. Because you only need to open up the, 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 the skies to allow free to transport from country to country. At the moment, there are several restrictions. You have to sign a bilateral agreement before an airline can travel from one destination to another. Speaking on the issue through the Raila Secretariat, Raila said he had requested to leave the job three weeks ago when he attended the second African Infrastructure Financing Summit in Dakar, Senegal. Raila noted he had challenges to his continued availability for the role of AU High Representative for Infrastructure Development in Africa. Odinga's statement comes just a day after he gave President William Bruto's administration a 14-day ultimatum to fix the country's runaway cost of living and reforming the electoral agency or else face mass action. If these demands are not heeded within 14 days, we shall lead Kenyans to massive action and to mass action across the country. Get their power back and restore Sanity. Raila's appointment to the African Union position was done seven months after his famous handshake with retired President Uhuru Kenyatta. Emmanuel To, KT News, Nairobi. Now, away from that, President William Ruto has once again affirmed that Kenya Kwanzaa won last year's general election, presidential election, fair and square.